He's on fire. Fantastic performance. Oh, what a leap. Takes a superb catch. What a win. That's done it. The whole team running over to celebrate. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Laughing Coyote. This is the Indo Park Peace Tour. It's in the month of August. Well, August is pretty much over, but I've had a lot of technical difficulties, which is why it's taken so long. Why did I choose August? Well, it's simple. Pakistan Independence Day was on August 14. India was August 15. So it's the month of independence. It's perfect to do something like this. These two do not want to do a series in real life, so I decided, you know what, let's do one in the game. We've done the test already. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check that out. But now we'll start the three ODI series. Half of this, ser this whole tour will be in India. This is the first half. This will be in India. And then the later stage will be in Pakistan. So right now, we're going to be in Hyderabad Stadium. And uh, here we go. First ODI. Set the tempo. Before we get into the game, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. I'm going to need you to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button if you haven't already. And also, if you can, only if you can, hit that join button to become a channel member. You can also become a channel member by uh, using the link in the description if you do not see the join button. Now, let's get into the squads. By the way, the squads I'm selecting best rated and also last most used squad. So the last ODIs. Um, that India played and Pakistan played. That's what I'm basing it on. Also, like I said, the ratings, I'm looking at that as well. So, yeah. If you want me to make a change, um, well, let me know about T20s. Because by the time you see these videos, I would have already finished the ODI series. So, do let me know for T20 what kind of squads you would like to see. Pakistan or and India both. Now, let's get into the game. Right, here we go first ODI after a very long time Pakistan and India facing off it's in Hyderabad like I said already and uh, half the matches will be in India half will be in Pakistan there are the two lineups and um, like I said do let me know if you want me to change the lineups I won't be able to change the lineups for the ODIs but I will change them for T20s uh, if you do tell me in time if you tell me later then you know and I've already recorded them there's not much I can do about that but yeah, here we go. The two captains, Barbarazam. Many call him the future Virat Kohli. I mean, he's going, he's on track. He's scoring lots of runs like Kohli did, and he's very young. But um, India have won the toss here. Kohli, what is he going to choose? He's going to choose to have a ball first. All right, so India will be bowling first here in Hyderabad, and Pakistan have been put into bat first. But Barbarazam, to even come close to Kohli, he'll have to play some match-winning innings, some innings under pressure, which he has not done so yet for Pakistan. And, uh, well, he's very young, like I said already, so there's a lot of time. But here we go. The Indians are making their way out to the middle. Push up punt. No, it's Kale Rahul, sorry, not punt. It's Rahul who's keeping the sticks. He's ball, uh, passed the ball to Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. I think I've said that name correctly. And then Imam al Haq and Abid Ali will be opening the batting for Pakistan. It's going to be a good one. Well, let's hope it is at least. All right, here we go. Bovey to open the bowling for India. First delivery to Abid Ali. It's going to be a back foot punch out of the gap. Will that go all the way to the boundary for four? I don't think so. It's quite a long boundary here in Hyderabad. And they have come back for three. Lovely running first up. Oh, he's nicked it. He's got him. That's the end of Abid Ali. Yes! Scored the three off the first delivery. And after that, this was his second delivery. And Jaspreet with the outswing got an outside edge. And that's the end of Abid Ali. He's never played in India. Well, to be honest, I don't think a single one of these Pakistani players have played in India before. And a single one of these Indian players have played in Pakistan. And they'll get to do that in the later part of this tour. So these are... Um, conditions to which they're not familiar the Indians are very much familiar though and they'll have an advantage in that department but there he is Barbarazam the captain walks out to the middle 
He's going to a bit of room and he's gone after him. That's gone over cover. That's going to raise away to the boundary for four. Bob Razum, fast delivery, gets four runs. That's a lovely flick of the wrist. It's going to race away to the boundary for four as well. Imam Mulhak gets the first boundary of the day. Oh, it's a lovely shot from Bob Razum. He loves that cover area. He's known for his cover drives. That's another thing he has in common with Virat Kohli is both of them have got such amazing cover drives. I mean, they're a treat to watch. Oh, he's got a snicko. And that's the end of him, Amalhak, as well. Just breathe, moving it away from the lefty this time. It would have been in swinger to a right-hander. And that's why he's so special. He can bowl well in the death. He can bowl amazing Yorkers, and he can turn them both ways. There's not many bowlers who can do that, but he's one of them, and he's one of the very best at it as well. Kale Rahul takes a lovely catch. Amalhak dismissed for 13 runs. Oh, there is one. Oh, he's in top form. He was great in the Test Series against England. Let's see how well he does here in the ODIs. Oh, got an ick. Got an ick. And that's the end of Barbarazm as well. India's on fire. They're taking wickets left and right. The Pakistanis do not know what to do with this Indian bowling attack. I knew there was a reason, there was a reason Virat Kohli bowled first here in India and Hyderabad in the Ranjiv Gandhi Stadium. Normally when you win the toss, it's almost always back first in India and Pakistan. But there was a reason, he knew. King Kohli knows best, never doubt him. <laughs> he's got Pakistan on the ropes. Harris Sahail comes out to the middle now. He's not played too many games, but the games he has made, he's been very impressive. That's a lovely shot off his pads. First delivery. There's a feel like coming under it. No, it's fine. It's nearly crossed. Nearly gone over the road for six, but no, it's just about short. And uh, four runs you'll get instead of a six. Yep. It's gone him a lot of room. And Mohamed Rizwan has made the most of it. He's gone after him. Gone over the cover and four runs. We've introduced spin. Spin, I think, is going to be the key here, although the Pacers have done a really good job. And as I say, spin's going to be the key. He's been smashed for a four here. Takur, oh, it's a good shot from Rizu. Goes over the top and onto the rope for four runs. Oh, that's very unlucky for Rizu. Not for Shardul Takur, though. He's got him. Look at that same position. That was such a poor delivery. I don't know how he got a wicket with that. In fairness, Rizwan should have put that one away. That should have gone over point and onto the row for four, but instead it's gone on to hit the stumps. Couldn't have been farther away from the stump, but somehow ended up hitting it. Iftihar Ahmed, again, not played too many uh, games, but he has got something special about him. Akur, this time an in-swinger. Love that. Bold an out-swinger previous to this. Now bold an in-swinger. Now, of course, he's been hit for a four, but just the fact that he has the ability to swing it both ways makes me glad. I'm a fast bowler myself, so whenever I see a fast bowler doing that, I love it. Uzi, now, he's such a character, isn't he, Shahal? He loves the game. He's very passionate. He loves the, the team. He loves the drama. He loves the environment. He just, he's just a very free-spirited sort of person. Loves every minute he gets to spend out there. And that's the attitude we all should have, really, about our jobs. That's a lovely shot. And yeah, the cow corner out goes. And that'll be four more runs. Yep, it is. 20 up for uh, Harris Sahel now. Oh, what a delivery. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at how much it's turned. It's completely undone him. That's the other of the Khar Ahmad. You say you absolute beauty. That is amazing. I was never a good leg spinner. I could ball off spin, but never leg spin. I tried so much, but that was just something fantastic. There's a, there's something special about leg spin, isn't there? Thick edge. And I'll race away to the boundary for four. 
Oh, thick edge. Got him. Sienna Vimad was seen. He's gone for 22. It's a lovely catch from Kale Rahul behind the sticks, by the way. Spectacular. He's gone after it in style. He's got his glove to it. Look at that. That was nearly second slip, I would say, but he somehow got it. That was fantastic. Amazing stuff. With the shades on as well. Lovely. You've got to love it. Stiana Vimad was seen. Pakistan in all sorts of trouble. They've lost six wickets of 103 deliveries. Shadab Khan comes out to bat now. Now remember, Pakistan is not very well known for their batting, so it's their bowling they're known for, so... This is sort of normal, is what I'm trying to say for Pakistan. So India should not get ahead of themselves, because uh, the bowling attack Pakistan has is above and beyond anything like I've seen before. Yep. Oh, inside edge. Very lucky for Shadab Khan. Not so much for the bowler, and it's raced away to the boundary for four. He'll definitely take that any way he can get. Oh, that's a thick edge. It's a risky single. Oh, and he's got him. Direct hit from side on. Remember, all he's seeing is one stump. What a throw that is. Who is that? It's got to be Jadeja. Quite easily one of the best fielders in the world. But I think it's Rohit Sharma actually who's done that. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Is even Rohit Sharma even playing? I'm not, not sure. <laughs> That is quite a throw. Whoever it is, that's that's amazing. Has put a right dent in Pakistan's plans. It's Rohit Sharma. It's the hitman himself. Hitman always hits. He never misses. Shaheen Shafridi. Now he's a big man. He's a strong man. He can really give it a good whack. But will he be able to though? That's a real question. It's a good shot from Shadab Khan. Shadab Khan's looking good. He's playing very patient. But uh, he's finally unleashed. He's trying to play sensible cricket, not trying to throw his, wickets, uh, his wicket away. I think the plan at the moment, for Shadab Khan at least, is to get as much of the ball as possible and to remain there till the very last ball in this innings is bowled. Because as long as he's out there, Pakistan will keep scoring. That's a good shot into extra cover from Shadab. It's going to raise away to the boundary for four. 23 up for Shadab Khan of 34 deliveries. It's been brought back in the attack, Jahal. He's bowled well so far. What a hit. That's what I was talking about. Shaheen can really give it a good whack. Like I said, he's a tall bloke, a strong one. And once he hits it in the middle, there's no stopping that one. Oh, there he goes again. Straight over the bowler's head, right where it came from. He'll pick up four more runs there. That's 25 runs for Shaheen Shine. 24 deliveries. That is some batting right there. Hardik Pandya. Oh, that's a close one. I don't. Oh, well, it's clear the umpire's not going to give it out, but I don't know. It was very close. I mean, according to the rules. Did you see that, by the way? Rahul hit the stumps when he was trying to throw the ball back to the field. Well, they've reviewed it. I, I think that's a good decision. Because I think it's so close that even if the umpire's call remains, it's, they're going to retain the review. So I think it's a good decision in the end. But yeah, it's just about hit the edge. Yeah, so it's probably going to be umpire's call. Which is a rule that I'm not a fan of. I really do not like that rule, the umpire's call rule. Because if it's hitting the stumps, then it's hitting the stumps, man. It's simple as that. Did nip back a little bit. Yeah, just a tad bit. It's in line and the impact. Oh no, it's going to be hidden wickets. What a fantastic review it is. I thought it might be given umpire's call, but no. The umpire will have to overturn his decision. That's an amazing review. And like I said, I would have gone for it too. Shaheen gone for 31 of 32. Those are some valuable runs from a tail ender. Like I said, he is strong enough to get them runs. Wahab Riaz, now he's he can actually get runs like 50. He's already gotten a 50. 54 not out. So Pakistan's not out yet. And like I said, they've got such a great bowling attack that if Pakistan... Whoa, that's a lovely shot. Straight to the fielder, though. <laughs> 
But yeah, I, they've got such a good bowling attack. I'm very confident. If, if Pakistan can get to 200 runs, they can defend that. That's the kind of bowling attack they've got. They've got Amr, they've got Wahab, they've got Imad Wasim, they've got Shadab Khan. Got a lot of good bowlers on their side. Yep. Oh, that's a shot and a half. I think that'll be a six. Is it? Is it? Yes, you betcha. 84 meters long. It's a big one. Yep. Oh, now he goes straight over the umpire's head. Over Miroff and onto the road for four. So another thing about these Pakistani bowlers is as good as they are with the ball, they're also very good with the bat. It's another four for uh, Wahab Riaz. A lot of the runs for Pakistan comes from their tail-enders, don't they? And they come from them way too often. Jadeja has been brought into the attack. That was a poor delivery. Shadab Khan had no problem putting that one away. Shadab, though, being very patient. Like I said, I think the plan is set. The plan is for him to stay out there for as long as possible. And the batsman at the other end just take on the charge. That's what Shaheen did. That's what Wahab is doing right now. And Shadab Khan is just waiting for the loose delivery like that one and going after it. Other than that, he's not really taking any risks, which is a very good plan. There he goes again. Similar sort of delivery. And Shadab Khan has done something very cheeky with it. He won't get a boundary. But I think they have ran three there. It's a very good running. 200 up for Pakistan. And after this point, I'm fairly certain Pakistan can defend this. Now, another thing about Pakistan is they're very unpredictable. So their bowling, as good as it is, it can sometimes be one of the worst bowling side ever as well. <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's Pakistani things, in it? On his legs. That's been put away. It's probably going to go all the way for six. Has it? Not entirely sure about that one. Is that given a six? Well, that's 50 pound to show up between these two, whether it's been given a six or not. I'm not entirely sure about that one. He's going after him again. He's so strong off his legs. Why do you keep bowling on his legs? That's just not a good plan, especially when you have no one on the rope. Again, on the legs. That's poor. That's very poor. And Shadab's made the most of it. That's 50 up for Shadab Khan. That is quite an innings. 51 runs of 68 deliveries. It's been resilient. There he goes again. Again on the leg side. Shadab will take those all day, every day, mate. There he goes again. What is happening? These bowlers have forgotten how to bowl all of a sudden, and that's a 95 meters long six. That's the biggest one of the day. Oh boy, that's a poor delivery. Again on the body. I keep saying don't do it. Don't do it. They've given up so many runs, but they keep doing it for some damn reason. Hardik gives them way too much room. That was in the slot to be put away. That was half a volley otherwise known as an absolute pie of a delivery. Yep. Oh, snick, no slip, and that's gone for four. Yep. Oh, thick edge. Into the gap, luckily for him. I don't think he'll race away to the boundary for four, though, but what an innings is turning out to be from Shadab Khan. And not just Shadab Khan, but also Wahab Riaz, by the way. What a throw. Direct hit to no avail, but still a direct hit. Told you Pakistan is one of the most unpredictable team in the world. Here you have Wahab Riaz getting 50 runs of 39 deliveries as well as Shadab Khan. And their batsmen, the classy Babar Azam, the Imam al Haq and the Fakhr Zamans are all gone. Not scoring even half or a quarter as much as Wahab Riaz. That's a good shot. That's uh, a very good shot. In fact, that's worth four runs. And that's a hundred partnership up between these two. Yep. There he goes again. Off his legs. And onto the rope for four more runs. Last ball. Yep. It's a good shot. It's going to go to the fielder, though. Going to push for the second. They have to. It's the last delivery. It doesn't really matter if they lose their wicket. And that's the end of that innings. What a turnaround. This is something special. Wahab 
and Shadab. Look at that. 3, 13, 10, 17, 34, 8, 22, and then 70, 31, 64. Unbelievable, mate. Unbelievable from Pakistan there at the end, from the tailenders in particular. Looked like it was over until Shadab and Shaheen came in. 50-run partnership there of 64 deliveries. And then that humongous partnership right after that one. 112 runs of just 82 deliveries as well. And I have a feeling that partnership right there might have just taken the game away from India. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. So like I said, Pakistan, yes, have one of the best bowling attacks in the world. But India also has one of the best batting order in the world. And um, here we go. Shikhar Dhawan and Rohit Sharma, the hitman, accompanying Shikhar today. It's not going to be easy. And then Pakistan have got Mohammad Amir. We all know what he did in the Champions Trophy. Can he do something similar here? Can he? Here we go. First delivery. Yes. It's just going to be a single from Shikhar. Taking it easy. I like that. Playing sensible. Yep. That's a good shot from Shikhar going over. Cover and that'll be first boundary of the day for India as well as Shikhar Dhawan. Yes. There he goes again. Over cover. That'll be another boundary. Last boundary was pretty much in the same fashion. Against Timer it was as well. Yeah, yeah. It's a lovely back foot punch into the gap from Rohit. The hit man Sharma. Will they go to the boundary for four? I don't think so. The fielders are not giving up the chase. They have chased it down in the end. Shaheen, very young, very talented. Yes. He's got a lot of passion. Miss field. No, why do they go for it? Why do they go for it? Why, oh, why did they go for that run? That's the end of Shikhar. Oh, is it actually? He might have made it. I'm not entirely sure there. Yeah, I think he might be in. I think he is in. Or is his bat in the air? No, he's in. All right, he's safe. He's safe, but there was no need for that run there. There was absolutely zero needs for that. He's got the ball to move away, but Dowen has picked it up well. Nice shot. He's loving that area. He's got his third boundary now, that is, in that same area. Yep. Well, that's a lovely backward punch again from Rohit. I think this time he's got all of it. I think this time it will race away to the boundary for four and a half. First boundary of the day for the hitman. Yeah, yeah. What a hit. Straight over. Mid off. And on to the road for four runs. 11 runs, Agent 47 moves on to. Oh, what a delivery. It's caught him straight in front. That was quite a delivery. Swinging into the batsman's legs. It was a bit full as well. Shikhar was caught off guard. And he's gone. LBW. There's no chance reviewing that one. Virat Kohli, King Kohli, captain. It's very aggressive, and his aggressive mindset might backfire here against him because India needs to keep it cool at the moment. Oh, thick edge, first delivery. Yep. That's a lovely shot. Into the cow corner he goes, row hit. Row hit, hit and a hit, he does. Yeah, yeah. That's a good shot over Miroff. Now the race away to the boundary for four. That's a lovely hook. That's going to go to the boundary for four as well from Rohit. Rohit moves on to 33 with that. Thick edge. Oh, and it carries. It's carried. That's the end of Virat Kohli. That's the end of Virat. They got him at point. This time it's Wahab. They got him at point before as well. It was Amr who did it. This time it's Waha. Well, it's actually backwards point. Well, I think that's more of a gully than a point. Any which ways, Kohli is gone. And that's all that matters. It was Abidali who took the catch. Shreyas Ayer. I think I've said his name correctly. If I haven't. Do let me know how to say these names. Think about Wahab is, he has this burst. Oh, this is just what I'm talking about. He's got Ira as well. 
He's got ire. This is what I'm talking about. He gets this burst, this short burst of amazing deliveries, which he normally follows by a long burst of very crap deliveries. Let's not forget about that part, too. But he, he does it. He, I don't know from where all of a sudden he turns into a Seema Krum. He bowls so well all of a sudden. And he's just proving my point here. He's got Ayer as well. He got Kohli first, King Kohli, and now Ayer. And now Kale Rahul is in the middle. And India were looking very good, and all of a sudden they're not looking so good. Thick edge. That'll race away to the boundary for four. First boundary for Rahul, and also first runs. That's a good shot into the cow corner. Well, actually, mid wicket. They've got a. No, what? That is very poor fielding. Uh, well, you know. It is Pakistan. They are known for poor fielding. Yep. Oh, it's another nick. Oh. <laughs> the fielding, the poor fielding continues. And I'm, I have a feeling we're going to see a couple more of those. Like I said, it's Pakistan, you know. It's, it, it's to be expected. It comes with the package. Free of charge. That's a good shot. Over cover. Now it's going to be four more for Rohit Sharma. Rohit's looking very good. He's the danger man. Scored a lot of runs against Pakistan in the World Cup. This is a very cheeky shot from Rohit. Over point and gully and gone for four. But yeah, he was dropped early on in the game and then he went on to score lots of runs. Really made Pakistan punish for their mistake. That's a good shot. It's a very good shot. And the cover. What? Is that the end of Kale Rahul? I think it is the end of Rahul. Now this very glitch happened in the test game I did as well. It was, the pa it was Pakistan who did that actually in the test. Wait, was it Pakistan or was it India as well? Not entirely sure, I don't remember. But I don't know. Big Ant, you've got to fix your game. This is just stupid. Like, yes, there are things that happen in cricket that are quite stupid, and I understand that. But this never happens in cricket. This will never happen in cricket. I can tell you that with some certainty. Hardik Pandya comes out to bat now. And uh, India all of a sudden fall down, not even 100 runs. Rohit is the man, though. The man, the myth, the legend. Their savior. By the way, he got his 50. We didn't even get to see the animation because, well, Kale Rao decided to steal the spotlight. That's a good shot from Hardik Pandya. He's nearly cleared the rope, and this is quite a, quite a long boundary. Hardik is a very hard hitter of the ball, much like his name. Oh, they were almost forgot. Him and uh, Amir both had, uh, well, their wives had babies. I was going to say they had babies. But uh, Hardik became a father, and Amir had his second child. So congratulations to both of them. Not that they would ever watch my videos, but if they do, you never know. Congratulations, mate, to both of you, Hardik and Amir. It's a lovely flick of the wrist. Such a powerful hitter of the ball. Also, such a sweet timer of the ball. That's not okay. Rohit Sharma's run out. No, I don't need to go to the third umpire. He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. Yep. That's the end of Agent 45. 47? <laughs> 45 is his number, so I'll call him Agent 45. But do you know what I mean when I say Agent 47? Let me know in the comments down below if you know what I mean. Anyways, Rohit Sharma gone for 52 of 46. The only batsman who looked like he was going to do anything. And uh, that was a risky second, but they've gone for it. Hardik is a very athletic person. He shouldn't have pushed Rohit. Rohit is not as athletic, obviously. And that's why he didn't make it back when Ro uh, Hardik did. That's a good shot into extra cover. Oh, race away to the boundary for four. He played really well in that Champions Trophy final as well. He gave Shadab Khan quite the... Uh, Quite the treatment, didn't he? <laughs> oh, that was a good shot from Ravindra Jadeja. 
into the cow corner. He goes and he'll pick up his first boundary of the day. Let's give him a bit of room. Lovely shot into extra cover again. Hardik is looking very, very good. His dick's hard. What? What? No, no. <laughs> I had to make that joke at least once. That's a shot and a half. He's got all of it. No, he has not, but it will get four runs for it. It's a good little recovery here from India. Let's hope they can keep going. They don't lose their wicket due to rash decisions such as just running off for no reason. There he goes again. Lovely. Into the gap he goes. He'll pick up another four. 19. He moves on to off 20 deliveries. He's looking fine at the moment. That's a good shot into the extra cover he goes. Hardik moves on to 29. That's a good shot. That's a very good shot from Jadeja. I'd like to see Shadab and Hardik go head to head here as well because the last time they met it didn't end so well for uh, Shadab. And I'm sure he's learned a lot ever since. I mean, it's been about, what, three years now? Maybe more, I don't know. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. Oh, has he got him? Nearly. He's nearly got him. It's lovely. If the Haralam, the part-timer, what a poor delivery. And oh my goodness, what a shot that is. <laughs> it's not going to go to the boundary for four, but that's quite a clever shot. Oh, and look at that. That's 50 partnership up. I didn't even realize that. This is very, very, very good batting. Just what India needed. They have to be careful, though. They do not lose any wickets because after this, they haven't got much batting left. Yep. That's a lovely shot. That's a very cheeky shot, similar to the last one. And he gets four runs for this one. That's a lovely shot. One out of A.B. de Villiers' book. Hardik takes it out and he executes it to perfection, gets four runs. Iftikhar has been given quite a welcome, fast delivery and he's put away for four. Well oh, that's a shot and a half from Hardik. He'll move into his 40s, just eight runs away after that shot from his half ton. It's very good. It's his first time playing after becoming a father, oh my goodness, he's gone. Oh, you know what I was going to say? That was quite a delivery from Imad Wasim, by the way. But do you know what I was going to say? It's so ironic. I was going to say fatherhood has brought him good luck. And just as I was about to say that, he's lost his wicket. 42 runs of 60. Still a very good innings, though. Still a very good innings. Shardul Thakur comes in to bat now. He can bat a little bit as well. He batted well against West Indies. He's handled his nerves while he was batting. Actually, it was Jadeja he batted with as well in that uh, match. Yep. That's a good shot into extra cover. They've got a deep cover, but not a deep extra cover, and they'll race away to the boundary for four. It's giving him a bit too much room. And Shardul has uh, made the most of it. He's going to get four runs there. A lovely shot into extra cover. That's going to raise you out of the boundary for four. Shadow's looking good. India needs him to do well, and he's doing well. He scored about 16 in that game that I... Well, that's the only game I've seen from him, to be honest. I'll be honest. I haven't seen too much of Shardul. Okay. But that was quite a game. <laughs> it was an intense game, and he played really well. He held his nerves. Yep. Whoa! Okay, Iftahar has got superpowers. He just warped space and time right there. And I think he's got his... Wait, wait, actually, does he? No, he's safe. He's safe. Yeah, he's safe. He's definitely safe. But that was weird. That was... What? <laughs> this game, I swear. Oh, my goodness. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar comes in. I know it's because the bat was in the air, but why was the bat in the air? That doesn't make any sense. All right, it's a lovely shot into extra cover from Bhuvi now. And uh, was looking very good, very promising. Takurin just as uh, he started to get going. Well, the game done, done him dirty. 
The game's done him dirty. Anyways, Wahab Riaz comes back into the attack. There's at least one more wicket in him. I can feel it. He's going to take at least one more wicket. I, I just know he's going to. Oh, Oof, it's a good delivery. Not as quick as he normally bowls him. I like how he's walking towards the batsman as well after ending him. He has a bit of aggression in him. I love that spell, him and Shane Watson. Well, that's a very classy shot from Bovey. That's not the kind of shot you expect from a tail end. A lovely square drive driven for four. Lovely. That's a very good shot from Jadeja and that'll be his 50. Whether the ball goes to the rope or not does not matter. He only needs one run and I think they've picked up two there. I think that's two. Yeah, that is two and that's 51 runs up for Jadeja. 61 deliveries. And innings that was very much needed but uh the job's not done yet he has to keep going oh that's the wrong one it'll deceive the best of the batsmen let alone a tail ender the googly the one that keeps going straight and it smashed his middle pole out Bovey, the 12 he scored or is good enough already to be honest from a tailender, although I say that, but then you've got the other tailenders from the Pakistani side scoring 50s left and right like it's nobody's bloody business. There he is. There he is. He's quite a character. But well, let's see how well he does here. Will he be able to uh, trick Pakistan into giving up the game? He is known as a little trickster. He is the heart of the team, I've heard from many of the Indian players, but there's the Jadeja innings. Split pretty much all around the ground, except that cover of Sherry. He's not got a lot of runs in the cover area and also in that long gone sort of cow corner area. Yeah. Oh, thick edge, they'll race away to the boundary for four. That's definitely, that'll definitely boost his confidence a little bit. Yep. That's a good shot into cover over cover and into deep cover and four runs he'll pick up Mama Nimer. thick edge four runs Shahal <laughs> he's found his groove that's the way he knows how to score runs and he's doing it well <laughs> oh he's gone after him he's not got all of that he's not got all of it and that's the end of Jadeja there was absolutely no need for that there was no need for that. Jadeja needed to stay out there, play out all the overs. That's what he needed to do. He did not need a six in that moment. I will never understand his thought process there. They had about three, four fielders on the leg side. Why would you take the aerial route when you're the last proper batsman left and India really desperately needs you out there? Jasprit Bumrah and Yuzi. <laughs> Out uh, there in the middle now, and uh, 46 runs. Hey, you never know, it might just happen. Miracles do happen, in it. <laughs> it's a lovely shot from Chahal. Chahal certainly up for the challenge. Uh oh, no, they're fine. I thought there might be a little bit of a trouble, but no, they're good. Oh, he's got him. That's the end of Chahal. What a brilliant innings that was by the wind of pressure 18 of 20. This might seem like nothing but the kind of situation they were in and the fact that he's a tail and not a batsman it's quite good you've got to applaud him you've got to applaud him he's going to review it we're going to skip past that because obviously that's out i mean you know what i'm going to leave it in why not there you go look thick edge but yeah india have lost the first odi of this t3 odi series and Pakistan have won it and won it quite dominantly. Shadab Khan has to be the man of the match. He's done really well with the ball and then he's done exceptionally well with the bat. All right, Pakistan won by 35 runs. Quite a close game in the end and it's all thanks to the all-rounder. I mean, we'll just call them that, the all-rounders. Imad Wasim, Shadab Khan, Shaheen Shah and Wahab Riaz. All of them are all all-rounder from this day onwards. We're not allowed to call them just bowlers. They're all all-rounders. I mean, the way they're playing, they're definitely, definitely all-rounders. But India lost a few wickets. A couple of wickets that they lost were quite foolish. And I can't help but think if those runouts in particular, 
If they had not lost those wickets, they might have had this game in the bag. Only 35 runs, that's not that much. They'll have to regroup and, uh, you know, learn from their mistakes. Understand that sometimes they were a bit rash in situations where they didn't really need to be. They went for singles that they didn't really need to take. That Jadeja shot at the end, he didn't really need to go after the bowler at that point, but he did. And so there are the stats. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, or you're enjoying the series so far. If you are, do drop a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Also, do consider becoming a channel member. You do that by pressing the join button. If you do not see the join button, then um, you can also use the link in the description to become a channel member. Also, do make sure you follow me in my social medias. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you in the second ODI of this series. Until then, have a nice.